Hi, my name is Deborah Reynolds. I work as a YouTuber and I'm currently researching for a piece based on one of your patients by the name of Conor O'Sullivan. Um, I'm just inquiring as to whether it would be possible for me to interview Conor over the phone. If so, um, please get back to me. My phone number is 086 293 0173. Thank you. Connor O'Sullivan murdered his wife, Jane, in the quiet rural estate of Silverstream. After some research and contacting neighbours frequently, I have become more and more intrigued by this case. Why, you ask? Because Jane's ghost still roams the halls of this vacant house. A source who wishes to remain anonymous revealed to me how every night even though the house is vacant, the curtains move, or even in some cases, the front door has opened. Many people on the road have moved home because of this, ironically turning Silver Stream into a ghost estate. Connor, in a crazed attack, hacked into Jane's throat with a kitchen knife, so brutally that the blade snapped Jane's final cord. The reason behind this brutal murder is still unknown. But no, the story doesn't end there. Connor hid Jane's body in the loft of the house for two weeks until concerned co-workers contacted police. When police eventually accessed the house, they found Connor in a manic street, naked, covered in blood, and according to court records, he had destroyed the house with graffiti. Connor O'Sullivan is safely behind bars in a secure unit for the mentally ill. He was unreachable to comment personally on this video, but trust me, loyal viewers, I will get as much information as I can as soon as possible, and will make an in-depth video into this very little heard of murder. Well, what do you think? Do you think the ghost of Jane O'Sullivan still roams the house? And what terrified some neighbours so much that they left their own homes? What was the reason behind the murder? Please remember to subscribe for more sinister videos and hit the thumbs up below if you enjoyed the show. <laughs> Walking around the house in the nip, wrecking the blade in place. <laughs> Just upload it and I'll send it to the owner. Oh, it's uploading them. voice now. Hi, my name is Deborah Reynolds. I was speaking to you for a few seconds the other day. I, if you look at the latest video on my YouTube channel, you can see that I made a small piece about what happened at the house. If you search Silver Stream Murders, my video should be the only one that comes up. We are a big production company and are willing to pay a fee to access the house to film. If you could please get back to me at your earliest convenience, my phone number is 086 293 -0173. Thank you. <laughs> you sell a sunbed on Albino, you would. We need to get into the house. One hour special, millions of views. This will make us. It's a bit fucked up going into a house like that, isn't it? It's just a house. Yeah, the ghost. Of. Will you cop on? That's entertainment value. That was just some weirdo who wants to talk to somebody who was lonely. What about everyone moving out? Yeah. A few people moved out. Yeah. Why? Because someone was fucking butchered there. Not because of something moving the curtains in the house. How many fucking brain cells do you have in there? What next then? <sighs> Look, 
give him till tomorrow to ring back and if not, I'll ring him again. I'm going to get my own apartment as well. I fucking hate house sharing. Listen to that. What? The fucking sharer. Didn't I tell them I was making a video? Oh, stop. Oh, look, we got my head home, yeah? Yeah. Bring me a few, get some touch. Okay. Yeah. Set us up by one of them, will you? I don't fucking talk to them, Niall. You go ahead, though. Walk into the shower there and ask her. The fucking bitch deserves it. Oh, I got luck. Hi everyone, so I have just made a new YouTube video and um, it's going to be on my channel right now so if you'd like to go and take a look at that um, fucking housemates the people who I live with are so unbearable I just cannot, I don't think I can put up with it any longer if you've watched the video you're going to know what I'm talking about um, it was just really bad but yeah, um, that was it I didn't really do much else today Niall came over and we shot the video and um, that was it really. Um, oh actually the owner from um, the house in Silverstream where the murder of Jane O'Sullivan happened, I still haven't heard back from them so it's really frustrating at the moment. Um, I'm really excited about it but I can't like prepare because I don't know what's going on, I don't know if it's going to happen and all this kind of stuff. So if you don't know what I'm talking about actually I will post a link in the description to the video where I was talking about this whole um, story of Silver Street murders and Jane and Connor Sullivan and what happened at the house and all that stuff. So basically what's happening right now is that I'm trying to secure that house as a location for a Cruel Histories special episode. Um, so that's really what's going on at the moment. There's not really much else happening. Um, I'm just putting all my time and effort into trying to get the whole special episode going and we're trying to write the script and organise it and do everything and yeah that's it really um oh now that I think of it um these drawings in the background in my last video somebody commented and asked if I had drawn them and I did draw them so most of you know look at those this is my favourite one like this the best. But yeah, I did draw those. Um, I studied art in college before I did presentations, so there's a fact for you all. Um, I also do, drew this big huge mirror on the wall, which I will probably get in trouble for from the landlord if they ever see, but it gets to be creative. So it can be painted over easily enough, I would say as well. Um, I suppose over here I might as well just show you some things in my room because we haven't got much else to talk about today. So here's my makeup on the floor. Yep. I'm like, I just leave it there. I don't really give a fuck. And here's Miles lights, which he just decides to leave here every time he films, which is really fucking annoying. Niall, if you're watching this, please just fucking take them home because they take up space and they're fucking annoying. Thank you. Okay, so, oh yeah, and here's also some more of his equipment. He just leaves it everywhere, like, take them home. No, oh, please take them home. Um, here is the poster for Class A, and um, it's just a film that I really love. I think that the poster is really cool as well. And here's my neon demon clock. So like, how cool was that? Like, and it was so cheap. And um, obviously, it's one of my favorite films. So I was like, I have to buy that. And then here's my little couch thing. <laughs> it looks good, doesn't it? It's really small. <laughs> it's actually tiny. <laughs> but um it's comfy and I like my little throw that I have for it. it's really soft. And 
it actually folds out into a sofa bed in case I ever have any guests, which I don't. But in case I do have a handy sofa bed on the side to pull out and let them kick. So I think that's it. The rest of my room is basically empty. I sleep on a mattress just on the floor, as you can probably see with a duvet on the pillow. Um, the rest of my room is empty because I'm expecting, well, very much so hoping um, for a lot of money to come my way soon. Um, so I'm just basically prepared to move out at any moment. And because I need to get out of here, like the people here absolutely wreck my head so much. I don't think I can stand it any longer. But as soon as I get money, I am to get out of here. So I'm prepared to go at any time. So that's when my room was empty. Um, but yeah, that's it, I think, um, for the moment. And um, there's not much else for me to talk about today because we didn't really. What's going on there? Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't really do much today. I just recorded my video and I was sitting around waiting for the owner of the house in Silverstream to get back to me, and he didn't. So that. Oh, why wasn't I in this light the whole time? It's so much better than the other light. I'm really annoyed though. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it. And I suppose I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to look at my new video on my channel. And also, if you didn't know what I was talking about earlier on, Silver Stream Murders, the link to that video is in the description as well. So make sure you go and check that out so you know what's going on. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I will see you all tomorrow, I suppose. Let me know if you're excited about the Silver Strings thing and if you think it's going to go ahead or just your general thoughts on the whole thing. And um, also, like this video if you think Miles should take his equipment home when he finishes the filming here because it's getting on my nerves. Okay. <laughs> um, but that's it. Okay. Bye. You have one unheard message. First unheard message. Okay, then, Marie. I'm going to watch all your videos. You're persistent on giving me that. So, in the middle of the day, I want to talk about bringing this. There's a pub called The Cavern. No cameras, no sneaky stuff, or the deal is off. I'll see you then. Niall, I need a lift. The landlord from the house in Silverstream just got back to me. He said he wants to meet me today. I don't want to go on my own. Can you come with me? Are you serious? Come on. I don't want to go on my own. Fuck you. Okay, um, I'm out here at a bus stop in the lashing rain in the middle of nowhere, basically, because I'm just back from having a meeting with the landlord of the house in Stumulin, where um, Connor O'Sullivan murdered his wife Jane seven years ago, and he's given us permission to use his house for a video, which is absolutely amazing. It's going to cost us a lot of money though, um, it's a thousand euros altogether. I have wanted to turn on the electricity because obviously nobody has been living in the house since um, the murder happened. And then the other 500 I just assume is for himself, which I don't really 
disagree with at all. Um, so yeah, we're going to be going up there to Fulham now soon, and I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to make the video because I know it's going to be really good. And this arsehole just beats at me like fuck off. Anyway, all these arseholes in their cars, and not one of them will offer to give me a lift. Um, I'm still not smoking as well. Yay! Um, I have my vape though, which is my baby. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's it for now, and um, any other place, obviously, I'll be up um, talking about the up and um, putting up on all my other social media accounts and stuff like that. Um, so that's it for now. Bye! So basically, we just stay there, stay up all night, record a whole load of shite. You add some of your magic in later on, and boom, YouTube famous. Yeah, when do we go? Um, as soon as the electricity is turned on, so about a week. No fuck ups this time. This is their biggest show yet. Don't be worrying about me. I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah. Good, alright. Um, make another video. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another episode of Cruel Histories. Viewers, I have some good and bad news. We'll start with the bad. This is going to be an exceptionally short video. The good? We've been granted access to the house in Silverstream, which is supposedly haunted. The reason this video is so short is because our whole production team are working very hard behind the scenes in preparation for our one hour special. That's right, a one hour special in a haunted house. Please subscribe below because you do not want to miss what's coming next. The next time you see me, I'll be out of my large but very luxurious studio and in a cold house of murder. If this is your first time tuning in, you can see the links in the description below to previous episodes. Please remember to subscribe for more sinister videos and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below if you enjoyed the video. So we are just picking up some supplies for the house, um, some food, maybe some beers. And yeah, that's it. Bye. Just on the way up to the house now, are you excited? We're gonna be fucking freezing up here. Grumpy. Bollocks. What? What is it? We forgot the fucking show you had. Are you for fucking real? This is our biggest show yet. I'm sorry, are you? We're coming back. No, we're past halfway. God, fucking nightmare. What? I forgot my fucking vape. Well, there's a vape shop in the fucking town and go down and run you down. There's no vape shop in the town. We're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh, you stupid. Fuck off then. We really don't fucking know. We actually don't believe this. We're even all over that fucking place, for you. Shut the fuck up. You want to get out of the fucking car, do you? What? Without mind, I'd stop here and I'm feeling marked off. Fuck off, hell. Well, I can't even talk with you.
Okay. We'll set up in there. There's a power here. Listen, you're just a monkey with a camera. Do what you're told. This is definitely going to go viral. Holy fuck. This guy was not watching. Do you have more lights in the car? There's yeah. no light in here. Oh, we got them, yeah. Can you get them out? Grab the drink as well, have a look. Yeah. Up there are locked. Oh, what are we gonna do? Do you want me to kick the fucking things in there? No. That's what he wants us to do. So we can right. charge us for damages. What are we doing? Do the first step. Alright, come on. So we've just arrived at the house, we've had a look around and what really fascinates me is this garden. They've got a trampoline and a massive shed and this really nice patio area and it's all just so overgrown, which is really sad. Um, and when we originally came, there were a load of flies all over this window, like a lot of them. So we had to open it up and let them all out and stuff. But another thing that I find so weird is that all of, like their dishes that they used are also here. And like there's some pans and stuff and it's like the landlord just never tried to resell or re-rent the house, it was just left. There's their pots and their pan and like a tea towel and like all of their, a lot of their food stuff is still here like and this all went out of date like so long ago. 
and then you've got ivy growing in through the vent and some little spiders up in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So at the moment, what's happening is the rest of the crew are in this room, um, setting everything up for our investigation basically later on. Um, so I'll just show you around the house. So here is the downstairs bathroom and the toilet is sparkling clean. <laughs> and then we have the Okay, so upstairs we've got a load, we've got four rooms all together, three bedrooms and one bathroom. And obviously the uh, the boiler room, whatever you want to call it. And the attic, so the attic is where Jane's body was left after everything that happened. So we will be going up there having a look around and doing some EVPs maybe. Um, but all of these doors are locked, which I wasn't told about before we came up here. And it's really, really annoying because I, of course, like I would have liked to have gone in and done a bit of research, but they're just locked, like all of them. <laughs> this is the boiler and we've just got these little dolls <laughs> like she's actually really pretty anyways this is the only room that opens upstairs apart from the attic and we've just got all these spooky dolls in here which is not very helpful. Um, but yeah, these are locks as well. I think I think this is the bathroom. Not that I would. I've tried to look in the keyholes of some of them as well to see if I could see what was in there. But you can probably just see. There's nothing. <laughs> They're just empty, so. so that's it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be recording for the rest of the night. Why is this going on? Um, and yeah, that's it. That's the house. That's basically the house. Um, that's as much of the house as we have access to. And yeah. Are we ready to go then? Yeah, just a bit. Good. You're ready, that's done. Yeah, just give me two minutes. Marmalade. Two minutes. My name is Deborah Reynolds, and welcome to a very special episode of Cruel Histories. Today we've been granted access 
two and ha two hours. Look, it's all okay. I Come know on. it's okay. Stop. You're putting me off. Just don't say anything. <sighs> Hi, my name is Deborah Reynolds, and welcome to a very special episode of Cruel Histories. Today we have been granted. Me hmm. Today we have been granted access to a house with a horrific past. Located just outside of Dublin, Ireland, this quiet suburb was given. Go on, look, take your time. It's a great draw one. Okay. My name is Deborah Reynolds, and welcome to a very special episode of Cruel Histories. Today we've been granted access to a house with a horrific past. Located just outside of Dublin, Ireland, this quiet suburb got front page news for all the wrong reasons. Right where I stand here in this very spot is where Conor O'Sullivan murdered his wife Jane seven years ago. Although the exact motive behind the murder is unknown, what is known is that after the massacre, he savagely dismembered her body and hid it in the attic. Let's go take a look. Perfect. Finally. Okay. Let's go up to the attic. Come on, turn the light on. Yeah, it should be one of those over there. What was this, a fucking brothel or something, was it? It doesn't matter. Get the lights and let's go. Fuck this, I've a bad feeling about this. Can we not just leave it? Come on, you don't really believe all that paranormal stuff, do you? Oh, I'm just a funny feeling about it, son. It's funny, such a little bitch. We now stand in the attic where Jane's body was left decomposing for two weeks before concerned co-workers contacted police. Connor, in an open court, claims that he did not eat for two weeks but gave no other evidence. This will undoubtedly be our hotspot for paranormal activity throughout our investigation. Perfect. Good. Right, down to the kitchen.
Connor O'Sullivan, after numerous doctors' reports, was found guilty by reason of insanity. Behind me is some bizarre graffiti which gives an insight into the mind of a madman. These drawings were scribed on the walls while Jane's dismembered body was decomposing in the attic. This undoubtedly contributed to Connor's insanity plea. Although he may be locked up in a security unit, the story unfortunately doesn't end there. The owner of this house, who wishes to remain anonymous, alongside various neighbours, have said that Jane's ghost still roams these halls, lost between heaven and hell. We will be here for the next 24 hours, during which we will try to contact Jane's spirit and find out the real motive behind this bloody mess. Perfect. Okay now, um, we're going to use this thread to do fake setups. <laughs> I'm going to wrap it around the door handle and pull it behind my back while they record me. It'll make it look like this ghost of Jane is opening all the doors in the house. Okay? Yeah. So I'll just use this door. I'll start. So we've been in the house here now for three hours and I've still had no contact with Jane. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> it's not funny. You're distracting me. Are you ready to go? Yeah. We're all up. So we've been in the house here for three hours and I've still had no luck with contacting the spirit of Jane. <laughs> Will you stop laughing? <laughs> oh, you're yeah, my thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, shut the fuck oh, up. Rawa. So we've been here in the house now for three hours and I've still had no luck with contacting the spirit of Jane. Oh my God. That has to be her. Ah, definitely, yeah. Did you get that? Yeah, I did. I have her all here. That, that, that was perfect. Can you feel that presence? Yeah. Come on, let's go take a look. Come on. <laughs> that looks amazing. Yeah, it looks deadly pure real, isn't it? Fucking brilliant. Alright. Um, we're going to the attic studio EVPs. What's EVP? Three, two, one. Lola. Jane, if you are here, please give us a sign. We are calling out the spirit of Jane O'Sullivan. Jane, if you are here, please give us a sign. We are calling out the spirit of Jane O'Sullivan. We mean you no harm. Please make contact with us. What do you think? Just our voices. Jane, if you are here, please speak to us. Jane, please talk to us. We mean you no harm. Nothing. I don't think it's picking up anything. Go down and see, will we? Yeah. Okay.
there anybody here? Jane, if you're here with us, give us a sign. Are there any spirits in this house? Did you hear? Oh. Jane, if you're here, please talk to us. We don't mean you one. any harm. Give me the... We just want to talk to you. I could be weighing or something. That was definitely a voice. Ah, oh, could have been the wind. You know, like, fuck that. Oh, listen again. Is there anybody here? Jane, if you're here with us, give us a sign. Are there any spirits in this house? Jane, if you're here, please talk to us. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk to you. I'm not doing this. What? I'm not doing this. I don't want to do it. We have to do it now. That's evidence. I'm not fucking doing this, are we? What? I don't want to do it. Why not? That's what we came here for in the first place. So what, like, what fucking glory have you got now? I'm not fucking down, are we? What are you getting? A big famous fucking head in you? Hang on a minute. Okay, this is probably Jane trying to talk to us. I couldn't give a fuck if it was the poxy pope trying to talk. I want to get me good and get the fuck out of here right now. No way. You're fucking staying. I'm not in the for a show. Money. Are you staying? Okay, yeah. Good. Look, I'll try to isolate the voice, are we? Yeah. What the fuck is it saying? I have no idea. Something about you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to fucking kill you if you keep saying stupid things like that. Play it again. What the fuck? Look under you. Yeah, I heard it. Where you look? recorded it in the attic. Not the fucking attic again. Yeah, the fucking attic. <sighs> Get over yourself. Look under you. In the attic. Come on. I'm not doing that. What? What? Don't even fucking ask me to do it. I don't give a bollocks what you say or about this fucking whole thing. Niall, we're doing it. Or I hope. We I'm are not doing it, are you? I'm not fucking going in there. The bad things happen to people I play with them. Are you fucking stupid or something, mate? It's not real. It's not real. Of course it's fucking real. I don't give a fuck about your videos anymore. I just want to get the fuck out of here, are you? Is there any spirits in this house? Is there anybody here? You try. Do we have to? Yeah. Is there anybody here? Can you give us a sign? 
Is there anybody here? This is ridiculous. We have to find out how to make that move. I'm okay. getting a beer. Right. What's the point of this again? Get drunk quicker. Can you think of anything else? Um. I can put some ghostly stuff in and post. I can set the camera up in the hall. Fucking tripod them. I'll find some. Good thinking, I suppose. Anything else at all? Cold spots. What? Fucking, you know, when there's a ghost in the room, you get a cold. Yeah. Yeah. Put that in somewhere along the line. That's a cold. Um, what about, right, we did the door. Yep. You do the ghost. Yep. We do like a demon voice thing and run around with the camera. We get a shot after saying that we saw a woman and all this stuff, blah, blah, like the usual show. What are we, yeah, sounds good. That should work. Yeah, devil. <laughs> we have now been in the house for five hours and we have just heard a noise coming from the kitchen so we are going to inspect. I'm the cameraman, yeah? Yeah. We can do fake EVPs, but that's all I know. 
Okay. Sound are we? Yeah. Yeah. Look, we can feel that out of voice, not to make a sound like a ghost, you know. Yeah. Oh, we'd be sorted. We record him in the attic again. The fucking attic again? Yeah, that's the best place to do it. That's where she was found. Hello? Yeah? Get the boy. Yeah? Yeah, just a second. They won't let me talk. Long. I know you're in the head. She told me. She told me! She knows everything. I did nothing wrong. I shouldn't be here. She kept. Saying she wanted a baby. She wanted a baby. Wanted a baby. I didn't mean to kill her. The boy was telling her what to do. She wanted a baby. I couldn't give it to her. I couldn't do it. She was a witch. Get out of the house. The walls have eyes. The demons know everything. She tried to kill me. It was self defense. I didn't do the right thing. The demon did it. She's in the house. I can see her. Jane is going to get to get out of the attic. Get out of the house. She's still in the attic. She's still in the attic. Ha <laughs> ha. Tell me about that. Yeah, yeah. EVPs in the attic. Did you not fucking hear him? The chap is a fucking lunatic. Did you not hear what he was talking about? It's exactly what we need. I need to only get out here. I don't want to be here. Do you want to believe all of this? No. You're only saying that to make me stay. I'm not. Look, Debbie. I may be scared shitless, but I'm not fucking thick. The voice is on the EVP. What about them? It was our imagination. Our imagination led us to a fucking Ouija board, did it? Right. For the first time ever, I actually think something's happening here. I fucking knew it. Look, we're getting really good stuff. Did you not hear your man on the phone? He's a fucking looper. Yeah, exactly. He's a looper. Nothing can happen to us here. Worst case scenario, we catch a glimpse of something on camera. But nothing can actually happen to us. How do you know? Because would I be staying here if I thought something could happen? Seriously, come on. We're never going to get a chance at something like this again. At least try to enjoy. We can have a laugh. We have beers. I'm coming for a smoke, but we can have a laugh. Are you in? Please? Fuck it. Are Okay. EVP's in the attic. Do not hear what he fucking said? Do you have your head or what? Spirits here who'd like to communicate with us. Get out. Ah, Debbie, you're gonna have to speak louder than that. I can barely fucking hear you up here. Okay, sorry, yeah. Right. Go again. Are there any spirits here who'd like to communicate with us? Get out. What the fuck was that, Debbie? <laughs> Come on, here, yeah, look, your woman's was fucking no time. It's not a retard, you know what I mean? Yes, I think you spirits in here. Oh, 
so lange gehalten, die Hupte hinter die Fug. Der war Klaus. Klaus, und jetzt nach Fugge oder her. Die Hand. Jetzt kommt der Vogel her. Fuck's sake. Wie nicht, dass der Vogel her. Fuck's sake. Ah, so ein Vogel, der kann ich nicht auf der Schweiz. Hier war kein Vogel in der Hütte. Hier war kein Vogel in der Hütte. Hier war kein Vogel in der Hütte. Hier war Um, get the camera, we can still report something. Okay.
Was für fucking Frauen!
Baby. We definitely recorded something. I don't even give a fuck anymore. I just want to go to bed. I don't really feel well. So I need to stay on the couch or something? Yeah. Okay. Go and get some sleep. <laughs> 